Wilmington Catholic High School has gotten the Kavanaugh treatment, you guys. Yesterday, I was so mad when I saw on the top of the Daily Mail that there were now, because the left is doing everything they can to make the kids at Covington Catholic look like terrible, horrible people. No matter what the long version video shows, no matter what's how they were victimized, really, there is such a determination by people to get those kids, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so yesterday, the headline, or I don't even know who actually went after this particular angle, but just like they went after Kavanaugh's high school yearbook, people now went to YouTube and elsewhere to uncover photographs of kids from the high school, but not these kids. So kids from like four or five, ten years ago. Yeah, Mm -hmm. uh, Fully body painted in black paint to celebrate Blackout Day, whatever that was. They also did it in white paint one day. Um, But they're showing these photos of kids that are not these kids in in full body black paint. To make it about race. To make it about race. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just disgusting what yeah. they're trying to do. So yeah. the, And these are old, old photos. And some people are saying, because there was one photo in particular I saw where some of these kids were yelling at a basketball player of an opposing team who was black. Yeah, so they're, that's what they're trying to paint that. So again, they're taking it out of context. Right. And they're trying to make it about race. Yeah. Which is completed, and they took it from this YouTube video, which is like a spirit video, mm-hmm. and they're they're making it about race because they're like, oh, this is a you know a, a Catholic school where it's a bunch of white boys, and they're making it about race. This is what they're do- again, they're doing the same exact thing. They're it's taking amazing. it out of context. I think that they've taken all, a lot of their social media down. The school, the school has. has everything yeah. is down. Even their website is mm-hmm. down. Which is now I watched one of their their videos, which is like an introduction to the school, and I was watching about a, a lot of their stuff is based on obviously faith. And then they had, I know in one, I was telling you, I saw where they had um, like a cardboard cut out of John Wayne Mm. and they put one of their hats on him and it's like, we are, we are pro-life or we are for life or whatever. I mean, these kids are very faith oriented, very faith centered. And that, when you watch the whole video of him at that rally, that kid, he was doing the right thing. I mean, he was trying. I don't know how he restrained himself. And I, and I asked you this morning, I was like, what would happen if it were, if it were a girl? Mm. Would, would there have been the same outrage if this were a, a teenage girl? And that guy, the Native American, got in her face. Right. What Banging would, a drum. Yeah. With that stick almost hitting that kid's face. What would have happened? I, listen, it gets very confusing, right? It, it gets does. Very, get, it does because get does confusing. that empower the girl to stand there smiling? Yeah. Or would she get the same kind of attacks that this kid faced? Okay, so then, uh, and then I have another question. What would have happened if it were a girl in one of those stupid hats? Yeah. What would have happened? Oh, my gosh. She would have been called empowered. She would have been a hero, right? A shero. <laughs> right. Because that's the thing. Like, if it were my daughter and she were 16 years old and that guy got in her face, I, I mean, granted, I want her to be polite, but, man, I don't, if somebody gets in her personal space like that, I don't... I have a problem with yeah, that. And you should. I have a huge problem with that. So what that kid did, he did the right thing by standing there and being stoic. And he was probably super nervous because of all the stuff that was... Go- Obviously, we know that now. He mm-hmm. was so taken aback by that. And he probably... He's young. He's a kid. Right. He's like 16 years old. He's taking all that in. He's probably like, I don't know how to handle this. I'm just going to be you know, as calm as I can, as rational as I can. And he was... Probably nervously, you know, smiling, and which is exactly what he was doing. Mm-hmm. And he handled it beautifully, I thought. Of course, everybody's like, oh, he's smug. He's 16. Right. You know, give me a break. But, I mean, can you ma- if it were my daughter, I-, I don't know. I don't know what I would, I don't know what I would expect from her, but I'm, I'm raising her to hopefully be strong where, I, you know, maybe she would... She would be calm, but I don't know what she would do in that situation. I'm just not sure. But what would we expect from a girl? Yeah. Being, you know, I don't know, accosted or, or having... Especially a, at that women's march, right? Yeah. Because it's happening all at the same time. What What would happen if it were a girl? I feel like it would be very different. Right? I feel like it would be very, very different. Because we expect different things from our boys mm-hmm. now, right? I feel like there's a narrative in this country where we are, we are putting different rules on boys 
And white boys, for that matter. Especially white boys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's out of control. And and speaking of the Women's March, the Indiana Women's March, oh my gosh, what a bunch of hags. If <laughs> any of you are listening right now, you are hags. You are such hags to try to go after these kids. So yesterday, they tweeted, and this has since been deleted, but they tweeted, we encourage all who are able to support our indigenous community by participating in nonviolent direct action at Covington Catholic High School on Tuesday from 10 to noon. They were calling for people to go and protest at this, at, this, at these kids' at school. The school. Yeah. These are kids, and protest, they're asking adults to go do this. And protest what? What are they protesting? Right? What are these? What are these women protesting? They're protesting children. It's unbelievable. What, what are you protesting? The, and these are, by the way, people whose leaders are total anti-Semites. Yeah, they still won't own that. So okay, so then they got wind of oh wait. So the longer video doesn't actually support our narrative. Yeah. So they deleted that tweet. Whoops, we didn't right. do our homework. Uh-oh. Yeah, they yeah. deleted that tweet. And then in its place, they wrote, in light of the revelation that this may be a more complex situation than first believed, mm-hmm. our indigenous community is now planning a peace vigil to call for an end to racism. You got to be kidding me. I, can't, I mean, no, I'm not kidding. Okay, so a peace this is vigil. What they're doing. So what, what is entailed? What, what, what actually happens at a peace vigil? Well, instead of going to the school, vigil, they're going to the Diocese of Covington. Maybe they can do an exorcism on these chicks. <laughs> they need to. Honestly. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. And they also said they stand by Nathan Phillips. So even after seeing what really happened, they say in their longer statement on their event page for this piece, whatever this is, vigil, they stand by Nathan Phillips because this, the kids were still inappropriate. They believe that the kids acted inappropriate. Okay, but they did nothing. They did nothing inappropriate, even though Nathan Phillips... Has he's gone back and forth on his story? Well, yeah, he can't keep it straight. He can't keep it straight at all. Oh my gosh, this is outrageous. And so these and these in that statement, they're like, we want to hold the adults accountable. That's why we're going to protest at the diocese. They won't even hold their own leadership accountable. And now schools having to be shut down. The they school actually, was shut down. They today. had to close school today because of all the threats. I gotta tell you, if I were a parent at that school, I'd be lawyering up. And I think some of them are. Yeah. I think that that's starting I to do Because this is completely outrageous and, and out of control. Out of control. You guys stay with us.